want to switch gears to uh, shine a light on our Haitian relief, certainly on our brothers and sisters of Haitian descent as we broadcast live from Chicago, Illinois, which was founded by a man of Haitian descent. We do not want to forget about our brothers and sisters uh, of Haiti, Haiti being the first uh, group of free African people in this world. And so we owe a debt of gratitude to Haiti. And so I'm very excited now to uh, introduce our next speaker, uh, Judge Lionel Jean Baptiste is going to come and give us an update as to what is going on uh, with our Haitian brothers and sisters. We're grateful for him. He has uh, another young man with him that he will introduce. Uh, Judge Baptiste, we welcome you, certainly. Good morning to the Rainbow Push family. Good morning to Reverend Jesse Jackson, who's always been at the cutting edge of our fight for liberation. Um, people ask sometimes, why do we make so much of Haiti? Well, Haiti is our Israel, brothers and sisters. This is the nation that broke the back, that began to open up the gateway towards freedom from slavery itself. So from 1791 to 1804, Haitians led a revolution, a protracted war, and defeated one of the most powerful armies in the world, the armies of Napoleon. That was under the leadership of Toussaint Louverture, who they eventually captured. But even when they captured Toussaint, they thought that they were doing something. But Toussaint was replaced by his lieutenant, Dessalines, and Dessalines had this approach that it would be freedom or death and led the fight that brought about Haitian independence in, on January 1st, 1804. And you have to understand that the moment 1804, it wasn't until some 60 years later that the United States would emancipate the Africans who were enslaved here. It would have been some years before liberation would take place in Latin America for Africans. But the Haitians themselves were so resilient and so intense that the United States organized an embargo against them. They did not recognize Haiti at the time of its independence. It took 58 years. And Reverend, it was on the eve of the Emancipation Proclamation that Lincoln finally recognized Haiti in 1865. So it is important that we understand the struggle Haiti had to go through. It was isolated for 58 years. Nations were organized against it. It continued to survive. Then on top of that, brothers and sisters, after Haiti liberated itself, France came back some 20 years later after Haitian independence with an armada of boats, gunboats, and demanded that Haitians pay reparations for freeing themselves back. Isn't that ridiculous? And we had, with the conditions, was such that Haitians were, had been weakened by the embargo, they made the concessions to pay France 150 million uh, francs in gold bullion, the equivalent of $52 billion today. $52 billion for freeing yourself back. And it took Haitians from 1825 to 1947 to pay back that debt. On top of that, brothers and sisters, in 1915, the United States, under the leadership of Woodrow Wilson, invaded Haiti and occupied it for until 18, 1934. And during this period of time, the United States took away the, the gold reserve of Haiti. They rewrote the Dessalinian De Constitution. They imposed a military that was beholding to the U.S. military and began to dismantle Haitian sovereignty. And there's a reason for it. If you free yourself in the middle of the slaveocracy, 
that was the backbone of Western society, that's where the money was coming from. Here you are, you overthrew them. Plus, you overthrew the whole ideology of white supremacy. Because for the first time, Africans were standing up after years and centuries of enslavement to say that they are equal with anybody. So you have to understand that the tribulations that Haiti is going through today is tied to its history. And until we collectively stand together with Haiti, it will continue to wage that fight. Today we say, with all of the crisis that Haiti is going through, we need a Marshall Plan. And Reverend, we're calling it the Louverture Marshall Plan. The Louverture Marshall Plan includes the leadership of Haiti, the sovereignty, so that it can lead the way. And we're calling on African nations. We're calling on France to give back that money that they took from us. We're calling on the United States to pay its debt to Haiti. We're calling on Latin American nations. We're calling on African nations because it was through Haiti that the African spirit was resurrected. So we know that the fight is going on. We know it's protracted. And we know that we're going to persevere because we are not going anywhere. It's freedom forever. Thank you very much. Yes, and let me introduce my younger brother, uh, Jude Laudet, with whom we have been uh, working over years, his family, and he will talk to you about, in light of the current crises, what are we demanding? Thank you, Jude Laudet. Thank you, Judge. Good morning. I greet you all in peace. Uh, I'd like to say good morning to Operation Rainbow Push Coalition um, and the Reverend Jesse Jackson for your ongoing advocacy and support um, on behalf of the Haitian people and freedom for all of our people, all, all black people. Um, I am a member of the coalition of Haitian American organizations here in Chicagoland and um, we do have a list of demands in addition to the Marshall Plan, which we know will be um, an extended uh, effort, prolonged effort that we must stay the course on. Um, but there are some immediate demands that we have um, to protect those who are, who were um, not welcomed uh, on our borders uh, in a humanitarian way. Um, so they're in danger, and um, we just want to make sure that we're clear on the demands that we have. Issue an immediate executive order to stop the deportations and expulsion of Haitian migrants who were and assembled at, Del, at the Del Rio, Texas, and other borders of the U.S. Grant the Haitian migrant free legal services to apply for political asylum and other support that they are seeking. Provide humanitarian support for the Haitian migrants as they await processing in the form of food, clothing, shelter, and health care. Provide COVID-19 vaccination to all qualified migrants. Grant te temporary protective status, TPS, to the Haitian migrants so they can work and become self-supportive and send support back home to their families. Most importantly, again, as the judge stated, we demand that our congressional leaders vote to appropriate the necessary amount of money to fund a Marshall Plan for the rebuilding and redevelopment of Haiti because the U.S. and the entire Western world owe Haiti a debt. And should you uh, find it in your heart to give to this ongoing effort to free our people and free the island of Haiti, we welcome you to donate to the Haitian Congress, 
www.ghanaiaidsfoundation.org. There is a link to donate to the cause and the effort. And thank you so much for having us here today.